Hey, this is Trevor Matthews with two minutes of CO2 with Trevor. I want to talk to you a little bit about pressures in a CO2 transcritical system. This image here is from a good friend of mine, Philip Walker from Iron Egg Systems here in Canada. They build some amazing CO2 systems and we actually did a great YouTube video on flash tank stability. You need to check that out. Head to the YouTube channel because uh, we dive in. He dives in deep to give you a really good understanding. But what I really want to talk about, we keep hearing about pressures. You got to worry about pressures. Yes, you have to worry about pressure if you've never been trained on CO2, but if you've never been trained on refrigeration, you need to worry about pressures on any system, okay? Do you have a pressure washer in your garage? Think about that. What is the pressure on it? 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 PSI in your garage. These systems do not get anywhere close to that, okay? We'll talk about here, the gas cooler condensers. This is your drop leg. This is where your gas from your roof comes down to your system. It could be anywhere from 800 PSI to 1400 PSI, depending on the ambient out there. So we're 55 bar to 100 bar. So that kind of sounds high to the systems you've been working on in the past, but this is nothing new to the industry now. The CO2 has been around for hundreds of years and we've been they've been installing them for 20, 30 years now in the industry globally. So we got 800 to 1450 PSI. We come down into these high pressure valves and what these high pressure valves do, they're reducing the pressure for the splash tank receiver. So they drop it down to between 480 and 640 PSI, depending on the application, which is really 33 to 44 bar. Are. Okay, so we're maintaining good flash tank pressure. From there, when we're leaving this flash tank, so we're leaving here, we go into a bypass valve or a flash gas bypass valve or a gas bypass valve. So there's a lot of different names for it. You need to understand the terminology. And then that goes into your medium temp suction. So depending on the temperature you're looking for, it could be anywhere from 380 PSI to 440 PSI, 26 to 33 bar. If you want to learn more, head to the Refrigeration Mentor YouTube channel, check out the CO2 uh, playlist, as well as you wanna dive in and really learn about CO2, get into a CO2 learning program, head to the Refrigeration Mentor website, check the courses page, and let's get a conversation going.